Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, we're talking about Town Hall 9 attacks and specifically how the uh, healer attacks are going to be the same, how they're different, how they were affected after the update. So, this is just both uh, Queen Walks and HGHB, uh, pretty much anything that uses healers at Town Hall 9. I have a number of attacks to show today. And uh, this first one is just a basic queen walk. And we're going to talk about the how healers were affected in general. And we'll look at the t attacks, break them down specifically, as well as just look at other things uh, that are, are notable beyond just the healers. So starting off, we have Nate, and uh, he's bringing a... Go Vaho with a Queen Walk. One thing I like is the Lava Hound in the CC, which we still see occasionally at Town Hall 9. This is a 9.5 sort of, mainly just a Town Hall 9. Uh, it just upgraded the Town Hall pretty much. So uh, we see, you know, the Lava Hound occasionally. And when you do, this is always a great way to uh, kind of protect your Queen from the Lava Hound because she is not very helpful if she engages that Lava Hound, especially the new level 4 Lava Hound. Or not really new, but the level 4 Lava Hound. Uh, it does qu has quite a bit of hit points, so this way uh, everything's ignored in the CC, has the poison for the few minions that are in there, and it lets the Valks go through, beat through the wall, and you can see that people really aren't putting their Seeking Arrow Mines uh, towards the outside of the base too much. Now maybe you know in the, the next arranged war we'll see that more, but for the most part that's not something we're seeing. And I talked about it in my last video, or not my last video, but a few videos back about Seeking Air Mines, that it's not the, in your best interest to do so either. So as an attacker from the attacking standpoint, you should feel confident that you can do a Queen Walk, uh, assuming it doesn't enter the base, and your healers won't get taken out. And even if one healer does go down, typically it's not going to be the end of the world. You might have to use your Rage or the ability a little bit sooner, but for the most part, it should just... Uh, be a speed bump if anything and if you have a good walk planned out anyway uh it shouldn't be too much of an issue i guess is i would say don't do a big queen charge where there's too much dependent on her have her just do a uh kind of what you saw in this attack just a nice uh solid value queen walk but nothing too big and um, if, if you if, as long as there's nothing too dependent on what she does uh you should be fine because most of the time anyway she won't get hit with one of those seeking air mines and she won't uh, lose any of her healers so let's move on to the next attack here uh down to 16. we're looking at Iceman, and uh, this is an hghb attack i'm going to talk about a few things for uh hghb in general and I think that this attack strategy in general is still almost as powerful as it once was. Just because you lose healers a little bit quicker uh, with the Seeking Air Mines now, it's not quite what it was, but it's still pretty powerful because those bowlers uh, are still going to do quite a bit of damage to the inside of a Town Hall 9 base. One thing I want to say for funneling is that you want to attack the base on these compartments that are sticking out. That way you can get a nice deep funnel to either side of it. You can see because bowlers, they'll target buildings behind the wall because they can reach over a wall. So you have to make it so that the only place they go is into that compartment. There's nothing off to the side, which is why attacking at a compartment that's kind of uh, sticking out is your best option because you can funnel very deep to each side of it. So um, if you guys want me to make a full video on how to funnel your bowlers properly, I definitely would consider that because it's so important right now. Uh, for Town Hall 9s because HGHP is still uh, very popular. You can see right here the Giants kind of go off to the side, but uh, they're going to go back to the middle right here as soon as the Hog comes in and helps take out that defense. So he does lose quite a few bowlers, and right there the Lava Hound pops, but the healers do a great job. I think he's hit maybe one Seeking Air Mine, maybe not even any, but um, once the bowlers die, you'll see your healers die quicker also because there's not as much things shooting those... Uh, those air defenses down and really that's the power of the attack is the bowlers being able to take out those air defenses before they snag your healers uh the giants move so slowly through compartments that the healers will go down realistically way before uh the giants get to those air defenses so you can see his things kind of do die out here but as long as you get a big part of the base taken out uh the hogs and the heal spell typically can get through the rest of the base uh, pops the queen's ability right there she's back behind a few giants and uh she and those hogs will take out the rest of the base probably doesn't even need that heal spell but goes ahead and drops it uh, nice placement there keeps his queen up and actually has two heal spells so i guess he will swag the second one uh, nice attack to ice man go ahead and fast forward uh, we'll take a look at a few from the uh, most recent war and then we'll wrap up this video kind of a shorter one but i had a lot going on tonight 
and uh, just wanted to, if anything, get at least one uh, solid video out for you guys uh, tonight. So let's take a look at uh, uh, 100 poor saying. Also 13, I uh, think this is, yeah, Iceman. Another HGHB, yep, uh, against a, a, a solid base. I mean, we're not seeing the best bases, but, um, you know, they're, they're okay. And uh, taking a look at this attack, I'm trying to remember what I was thinking about it because I thought I there was something I wanted to say about it. Um, see if that comes back to me. But uh, as we watch it, this is a difficult base to funnel the bowlers in because uh, you have the compartments that are, that one is sticking out a little bit, but you can see the mortar uh, to the bottom, the wizard tower towards the top uh, on either side of that compartment or well within range of the bowlers so you have to be very careful that they go into the base sometimes you want to drop them almost a little bit earlier that way the giants the king the queen they won't take out those buildings that lead the bowlers on in so right there a few even do go to the outside um, people ask you know should i funnel my bowlers in should i attack through a corner compartment should i go through a side compartment really there's no easy answer it just depends on the buildings to either side of the compartment so like i said if you want to see a video uh talking about how exactly uh, you should go about entering a base with HGHB or any attack that uses bowlers really. Uh, I'll be sure to uh, to make one if a few people ask for that in the comments, so let me know. But uh, you can see his troops kind of go off to the right side here. Does lose quite a few healers, uh, down to just one healer, but even one healer, especially under Rage, can keep those troops up very nicely. Still has the king's ability, and uh, one of the great things about HGHB, and one of the reasons I think that it's still powerful, is it doesn't require the best plan you don't need to know exactly where your troops are going to go because wherever they don't go that's going to be where you use hogs now he slips in a few nice hogs on the uh, distracted defenses to get some nice value there so that was a good way to kind of have those hogs coincide with the rest of his attack but here comes the remaining hogs and he has the two heals and that's one thing that always surprises me is how few heals or I'm not how few uh, tr spells your kill squad, your main force requires, so that you can bring two ha or two heals for just like 12 hogs. It's kind of crazy, uh, especially like when you're looking at the attack. It's like, wait, how does he have two spells left up? Uh, and he's already taken out so much of the base. So that's one great thing about this attack. It just uh, it, 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 it can do a lot with not a whole lot of planning. So uh, I think it's because the bowlers mainly are pretty powerful, but also uh, just the, the strategy in general is pretty powerful too. Um, I think it was 14 was the last base we're going to take a look at. Yeah, 14. This is just a queen walk, so wanted to have some examples of both queen walks and the HGHB. So overall, like I was saying a little bit earlier, HGHB is, I would say, still use it on on bases that definitely call for it where you think it would work out well and I've, I've talked about in the past the kind of bases you want to look for uh compact is typically better also you can try out the uh the stoned go or the stoned hobo that has like the three golems the bowlers and then a few hogs for the back end of the base uh, those two are good for compact bases but even really any base can be used hghb can be used on unless there's actually specific things that are trying to defend against it um like some of the bases i've built in the past are pretty hard to hit with hghb but um taking a look at bases or, or attacks sorry it's kind of late attacks that just use uh healers and not the hghb is really the queen uh, if the queen walk meets up with the kill squad sometimes that's better because you're going to lose some healers to seeking air mines. So when the healers uh, kind of just peel off onto your regular troops, that way the queen has something tanking for her. There's no risk of her going off on her own and going down because the queen is one of your... your the, the queen is one of the... I'm, I'm having a trouble talking again tonight. Like I said, it's, it's late. Um, the queen is one of your most powerful troops for late in the attack. She... Uh, she can shoot over walls, especially if you have her ability, that can really help you out. Um, she's a great end game uh, attacking troop. So if you do a queen walk that's separate from your, your entry with your kill squad, the thing is that if a seeking air mine hits one of your healers and there's less uh, heal going on to your queen, there's, there's more of a chance she'll go down and that can be costly um, in a town hall nine attack. Whereas if you have your queen enter the base with your kill squad, it might be a shorter queen walk because of time constraints, 
that kind of stuff. But really, I think it's the safest thing to do right now because uh, that way the queen is back behind the kill squad. The healers might even peel off to the, onto Valks or Bolos or whatever you're using. So it's going to, uh, you'll get value from your healers on your regular troops, but also the queen will stay up as she sits back behind your kill squad. And that's very important for later in the attack. Assuming there's like not a lava hound or something, some reason why you want to keep your queen away. So those are just my thoughts. Uh, a little bit jumbled up tonight, but I uh, did my best and I hope you guys liked the video. And uh, like I said, let me know if you want a, a video dealing specifically with bowlers because they are a very tricky troop. In my opinion, the most difficult troop to funnel into a base. So yeah, thanks for watching once again and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Sectatron out.